Hello everyone and welcome to day 10 of Project 365. Today I wanted to talk to talk to you about something that I find rather important, so I, odds are I won't be cracking jokes or anything of that nature. Um, I just like the terms... <laughs> dislike is not even the word. I hate. I rarely will use the word hate because hate has such a strong meaning, so I can tell you now that I truly mean this. I hate the phrase that's so gay, or the other phrase, no homo. I find them oppressive and derogatory beyond all means that people, or beyond the scope of what people would normally view as derogatory. And, and don't worry, I'll, I'll explain my reasoning now. When someone uses the phrase, that's so gay, they're often referring to something that is negative. When you say that's so gay, odds are you're saying, oh my god, this is terrible, this is horrible, this is despicable, this is something that isn't desirable. When you say that, you're essentially teaching future generations of our culture that society itself views homosexuality as something that is wrong and quote-unquote unnatural when it's actually been proven that other animals exhibit, other mammals exhibit homosexuality naturally, to name a few dolphins and whales. So... When you say, that's so gay, you're essentially saying that isn't right. That should not be here. Now, I quite frankly find that disgusting, because you are essentially downgrading a whole group of people that are a part of society and do just the same things you do, if not more. When you're using the term gay, fag, queer, something like that, you are essentially quote-unquote, using the N-word. Now, I'm not going to say that presently, presently, that fag, queer, gay are the same thing as the N-word, because the N-word has a huge history and goes way back to enslavement times. And it was used for hundreds of years, and is still used today, in the Deep South, where they still hate people who are different. But, I mean, presently, it's also used as a term of endearment when you add the A-H ending. Um, but presently, in society now, we are setting up the same situation for oppression and hatred. Right now, we are saying that society itself finds things that are gay, things that are legitimately, legitimately homosexual, we view them as wrong. And we're setting up future generations to think that same exact way. And when you do that, you're breeding discrimination. You're breeding hatred. You're, you're creating a breeding grounds for a group of people to be oppressed and hunted down and murdered. I, I don't think that's fair. When you use a phrase like, no homo, what, what, what is so wrong about being gay in the first place? If you go up to someone and say, like, if someone of the same sex goes up to someone else of the same sex and it's like, I love you, no homo. Why? Why would it matter if you mean it in a way where you're affectionate towards that person? Why should it matter? That is your taste, that is your preference. Why should you be condemned for feeling the way you do? Just because you're an individual who likes someone of the same sex does not mean you should be allowed, or you should be persecuted for feeling the way you do. Now, I, okay, I don't want to press my atheistic ideas, however, I do want to point out a fact. The church does more to oppress homosexuals than any other force that I've ever seen, because the church itself is such an influential aspect of everyone's lives, that if the church were to say homosexuality is wrong, just because the Bible says so, then they will automatically think that homosexuality is wrong. I'm not saying all people believe this, but I do say, I will say, and I apologize, my chair is broken, so, but I will say that, in general, most people will believe that. And again, it's, 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 it's just right there. Now, look at Prop 8. Prop 8 was a proposition that put a ban on legal or on gay marriage. Because people felt marriage should be separated from homosexuals just because of the religious connotation it has. 
Now, for those of you who know anything about marriage, you know that if you are married in the church, you are still not married by law. Marriage has always been a legal documentation of two partners who live together. It is not the same thing as a civil, a quote-unquote civil union that gay people are allowed to get. A civil union, A, does not have the same rights as a marriage has. Um, marriage, you do get more tax benefits along with marriage having a str much stronger connotation. When someone goes up and says, this is my life partner, life partner is used as a safe word because society does not view homosexuality as something that is socially acceptable. It's sickening that I have to say something like that, but it's true. So, what's much more realistic? Saying, going up and saying, oh, this is my life partner, or going up and saying, this is my husband. <laughs> you decide. Do you really, would you really want to go on your whole life saying, this is my life partner? Or would you rather say what they really are, your husband or your wife? It isn't fair that a group of people are forced into the situation that they are just because people share different views. Your ideas of morality should be completely separated from the ideas of legality. Just because you view homosexuality as immoral does not mean you should deny a people your, their rights, a group of people, of individuals who have this given right as a human being to be able to marry whoever they please. When you say that homosexu homosexuality is immoral, that should not bear any decision, any... should not... When you say gay marriage is, or gay homosexuality is immoral, that should have no bearing whatsoever on the legality of the subject. Legality is whether or not something interrupts the rights of others. Quite frankly, I do not see how gay marriage would interrupt the rights of others, because the propaganda they fed you in those commercials is not true. Just because Prop 8 was not, was going to allow gay, or just because gay marriage is allowed, does not mean gay marriage is going to be taught in schools. It would simply change the definition, which is not really that big of an issue, because before, marriage was never meant for a religious purpose. It would just simply change the definition of marriage, from man and woman to person and person or something like that. Also, huge propaganda in Prop 8 commercials when they said that the homosexuality, uh, homosexuals being allowed to marry would lead to bestiality and things like this, which is completely ridiculous, because how does one go from I love this man to I love this goat? I do not see the connection there, I am sorry. <clears throat> So I do not see how we as a society can allow ourselves to oppress a whole group of people simply because they share different or they share different feelings towards someone else. I also have a, my own little theory about why homosexuality exists. A, it, well, it's a two-part thing. Genetically speaking, if your genes code for a specific hormone to be produced and that creates a different effect on your brain. Be due to external stimuli, you have no control over the fact that you're excited over someone of the same sex. I'm sorry. No matter what you do, no matter how you condition yourself, you cannot change that mentality. Second of all, your environment also has an effect on whether or not you're able to become a homosexual or, or whether or not you become a homosexual or not. A, or a household that fosters homosexuality will allow gene expression to occur, and that means the person will be more likely to be gay. That is just because the family accepts the idea, and therefore the person has not so much a choice, but they have the ability to become who they are, who they want to be, not who they're forced to be. So the fact is, why is it acceptable for us to degrade individuals just because they prefer something else, and yet cannot change that as quickly as people are so... Uh, uh, can't change that just because people are so quick to assume they can when it's changing your sexuality is just as difficult as trying to change your race, your gender. Well, not so much gender, but you see the point. So, the next time you think of saying that's so gay or no homo, think of what you're really saying. 
Think of how badly you're disgracing a group of people just because they don't fit the quote-unquote societal norm. Think about how you're an oppressing a group of people and your help perpetuate this oppression just because you don't want to expand your database and think of other words to describe the situation more clearly. How is something gay? How can this be considered gay? I can say that's so gay. What will that mean? This is terrible? This smells bad? What? It isn't as descriptive as it possibly could be. So why don't you just expand your database and expand your knowledge base and be become a much more intelligent individual? Hmm? Well, uh, that's it for today, so uh, that's all I can talk about on the matter. Um, so, um, question of the day. Uh, why do you think people like to use the phrase, that's so gay? Uh, and that is it, so I will see you guys tomorrow.